Yo, yo. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. Ah, Mookie. Yo. How you feeling, Shorty? Feeling good. And we back with another reaction video. Now, Mookie, yo. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long it's been since we reacted to a Larry Bird video. It's been a minute. It's been a minute? Been okay, a minute. look, if y'all new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Mookie, yo. I got a new Larry Bird video for you today. Just, just. This video just came out five days ago from the Basketball Time Machine. Okay. Shout out to the Basketball Time Machine, man. You make amazing content. Shout out, David. What's up, baby? <laughs> now, look, bro. This is NBA Le <laughs> NBA Legends explain why Larry Bird was the be was better than everybody. Okay. You feel me? Why, why he was better than everybody. For me, personally, Larry Bird probably not better than Earl Boinkins. Got to be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with y'all, man. Like I told y'all, if y'all do to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Y'all already know what we think about Larry Bird, how amazing he is, how he one of the toughest players in the league, man. Mm -hmm. We wish he could have played a little bit longer in his career, but Boogie, let's get straight into this video. Let's go. And he was just fake the crap out of God. Hey guys, this is Dominique Wilkins. And this is Sean Kemp. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. NBA fans, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man, Sean David. Hey guys, what's good? Welcome back to the Basketball Time Machine. My name is Sean David. Thanks for tuning in. What's up, baby? In today's episode, what's I want to take up? a look at more NBA legends giving their opinion why Larry Bird, Larry Legend, was so damn dangerous. But before we dive into today's episode, let's take a quick look at the sponsor of today's video. Today's video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare has thousands of online classes and members in more than 150 countries. You can find the subject you're interested in in, unlock more creativity, get inspired to put your new skills to work in an impactful way. My guy on Skillshare is Marquez Brownlee, and I was truly blown away by his class on achieving YouTube success. Mm. And yes, I can't complain about the size of my channel, but I'm always looking for ways to improve myself and get better. A really cool feature is that viewers can leave little notes on different parts of the video to help you to retain key pieces of information. I can certainly use context of the stats I quote and I always try to keep my tone on a personal level. Now more and more people are creating their own careers and Skillshare is the perfect way to start yours. The first 1000 people to click on the link in the description box or use my promo code basketball time machine will get one month free trial of Skillshare. So honestly, you got nothing to lose. So what are you waiting for? Start your creative journey with Skillshare today. How do we start? I would say let's take a look at what some of the greatest legends of all time have to say about Larry Legend. I don't know if there was, if I could ever tell you a memory. I'll just tell you that Larry was a phenomenal basketball player. The guy had unbelievable physical and mental toughness, which set him apart. I mean, that, that, that guy uh, just would play through pain. Bird is hurt. Bird is down, and he's hurt. And here comes Larry Bird. Making his return from an apparent fracture of the right cheek. Yes! Nothing bothered him. Unbelievable competitor. Great hands, great vision, great feel for the game. And just, you know, could go out every single night and just play at an unbelievably high level. Didn't have to shoot the ball really well to have a good hmm. game because he did so many different things. Or you said that not only would he talk shit to you, but he would tell you what he's gonna do to you on the court. He's like, I'm gonna shoot this from here. Boom. Oh, now I'm gonna get, oh, I'm gonna bust your ass here. Oh. Larry Bird. I'm that's Vlad, yo. Yeah, that's Vlad, Vlad TV. Right, yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, ain't this amazing how, like, it's always new clips about Larry Bird. Like, mm -hmm. it's like a never-ending story, bro. It's like always something new, bro. Yeah. I haven't seen these clips. And that's my, that was Kevin McHale, right? That was Kevin McHale, So he yeah. played with Bird already. Of right? course he did. Like they, but when Kevin McHale, the man before Larry Bird came there, 
No, I don't. I think it was Cedric Maxwell who was the man before Larry Bird on that team before Larry Bird. Larry okay. Bird came in and just took over. Baby. Oh nah. Of all people, you would think, but he, nah, he was he was the truth. He was. Let, let me tell you something. People always talk about mm. great basketball players, and they don't never mention him to be up in that round right. when they made the Magic's, the Jordans, the Kobe's, and stuff like that. Mm. But Larry Bird was cold. Mm -hmm. I don't think nobody ever could get out with him. Mm. He likes Magic. That's why Magic had had a, a run, and he was mad when he had to retire in 92 because of what he was going to be missing with Larry Bird. Mm. Now, the next story that we're going to take a look at is actually pretty funny, and it is by Sir Charles Barkley. Let's have a look. Bird didn't talk trash to you, Oh, did my he? God. Bird talked trash <laughs> yeah. to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but didn't he? Did, did he get to a point where he had I, I, respect I, I, for you? I, I always tell this people this story about Larry Bird. <laughs> I remember him. He was cursing under his breath, and I asked him, I said, "Larry, what's going on with you?" He says, "You guys are being disrespectful to me." <laughs> and I says, "What are you talking about?" He says. You guys are putting a white guy on me. <laughs> That's disrespectful. Wait, who's the white guy you put I, I, on it? I can't remember who it was. I just started laughing. I had no comeback. He says, he says it's disrespectful when y'all put a white guy on Larry me. broke into the league, broke into the year. Yeah, had a strong uh, first year. Yes, sir. So I knew that I was teaming up with someone that was franchise changing type talent. You know, this guy, I think he was born to pay, play basketball. Seeing him come in and and making the adjustment early, taking a team that had won 20 games the year before. And you, Who, that's uh, tough, yo. What? He had to go up against Dr. J. He had to go up against um, uh, Chocolate Thunder. That's, uh, Who that? Who named Chocolate Thunder in the uh, league? Uh, <laughs> I ain't calling nobody no Chocolate Thunder. <laughs> that was um I think I think oh man I hope I don't mess miss his name his name was, I think his name was Daryl Dawkins okay he was like a defender right yes he was boy he could jump out he was strong too bro is that and a young Charles Barkley he had the four Eastern Conference Finals bro mm -hmm. he had to go up against Dr J and they team was stacked bro right the Sixers yes oh man team was stacked let us know in the comment section. If y'all used to watch those series, yeah. because we got like a lot of Larry Bird fans and if, a lot if of y'all watch because I missed them. I wasn't born yet. You feel me? So. Tell us, uh, tell us what that was like for Bird to go against the Philadelphia Sixers, Since right? The yeah. Sixers in the finals, bro, in the Eastern Conference Finals. Oh man! Oh man! You know, the next year, I mean, you know, they're forty plus, and the next year they're 60, mm. 60 plus. When Bird was at Indiana State. And the first time we really got a chance to see him play on television, uh, Indiana State played Bradley. And then, you know, fast forward, then they played DePaul. And Mark Aguirre, Terry Cummins, Teddy Grubbs on that team. And Larry Bird just, you know, he does his thing. And then, of course, they went on and they, they played Magic at Michigan State. But Bird was, a, you know, again, you know, one of the, the greatest shooters, champions, uh, competitors to ever play in our game. Hmm. You now join Bill Russell and Wilt Chamberlain as the only players in the 40-year history of the NBA to win the league's MVP award three years in a row. Well, I'm really proud to, like? to receive yes, this award sir. for the third Hold time. Hold on. I ain't know three that. Three years in a row. Let's go. The MVP? The MVP. Goodness gracious. Did anybody do that, bro? Uh, he's, they, they just said Wilt Chamberlain and somebody else. Uh, I ain't here. Ooh, Too many people. LeBron didn't even do that. No, I don't think LeBron did that. Three years running. Three years in a row. In a row. Mm, 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 mm. Yo, I did not Boy. know that. Boy, rewind it, bro. Boy, <laughs> rewind it. Talk to me, baby. And as the only players in the 40-year history of the NBA to win the league's MVP award three years in a row. Mm. I'm really proud to to receive this award for the third time, but I really don't feel that my career is over. I think I can win it some more. Mm. Yes, sir. Nobody. Nobody worked as hard as Larry. He was the first guy there. He was the last guy to leave. He wore that body out with the jumpers and the running and the movement and the, and the concentration and the focus and the discipline and the sacrifice. He had it all. He wanted the light on him. He wanted the focus and he wanted that ball. And if it ever got to the point where Casey Jones, a coach who we just loved and would do anything for, 
If Casey would ever call somebody else's play, Larry would just say, no, no, no. I'm, I'm shooting this ball. And, and he would. He was running and stuff like yes, that, yo. Larry, Larry, like, no, no, no. <laughs> Not today. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to give it to Larry. You pass it down to Kevin McHale. Like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> do what? So what if you're do like, what? So what if you was like, oh, no, we're going to pass it to Kevin McHale. Was Larry on some stuff like, no, you not. <laughs> <laughs> Right in the huddle. That's crazy. <laughs> Two seconds on the shot clock. Bird wants a three out of it. Uh, the one I really hated uh, to guard uh, was uh, Larry Bird. Mm. Uh, he was not a nice guy. <laughs> uh, matter of fact, there was one game in, in Cleveland where he was having a pretty rough first half. And in the old days in Cleveland, you walked off the court the uh, same way at halftime. And... I kind of puffed up on him and walked beside him and was like, yeah, you're one for 10. <laughs> I was like, that's defense, you know? And um, he just kind of looked at me and said, there's two halves. <laughs> and he came back out and hit about 10 in a row on me. <laughs> and the last one was left-handed. Mm. He asked me if my mother was watching. Oh! <laughs> uh, he wanted to embarrass me, so. <laughs> Is Larry Bird satisfied now at this point in his career? As of right now, I am. I know I got a lot of work to do this summer, but uh, one thing we did this year is play hard. I get a charge when I'm telling someone on the opposing team that I'm going to hit the last second shot and then do it. That's what it's all about. Larry's open. One, three. Yeah! I remember the Portland game. It was, I think it was Super Bowl Sunday. We are playing the Portland Trailblazers. He had like 52 points or something like that. We were down three. He's a remarkable, crazy Three-point shot, he was leaning, and, he, and I was like, there's no way he's going to hit the shot. DJ again Ooh. to make the inbound pass, the double team in third. Mm. Larry, fake, fall away. Hit the All right! He's leaning, falling, he's three-point. I'm like, this guy's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I do remember now, this is practice, is I'm making a backdoor cut, and Larry actually spun the ball. Like, I had never dreamed of spinning the ball. He back spun the ball, bounced out in front of me. I about pulled the hamstrings. I thought the damn ball was going out of bounds. It popped back up and it hit me in my hands. He just said, you get open, I'll hit you. And I went like, ooh, okay then. I was <laughs> like, and that I do remember, because I remember thinking, I'm going to try that spin pass. I tried it once and said, I'm not doing that. <laughs> it's out of bounds. I'm off of the ball. Back to Larry Bird. Ooh. Open on that left side. I didn't think Bird saw him. He did. It was a good one, two punch, too. Mm. It's blocked. And Seasting hit it off of a Detroit player. No, no, it is. Here's a disparity in the call. They're going to give the ball to Detroit. And now there's a steal by Bird. Underneath the DJ. It's crazy. Bro. I think we were playing in Hartford, and um, we we up one, and we come out of the huddle, and and Bird looks at me, and, and Kent Benson is guarding Bird, and Bird looks at me, and he goes, he's got no shot, and he says it right to 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 Benson as he was standing there, right? Right. And sure enough, he gets it in on the left side of the court. Takes it down to the baseline. All right, here's Dennis. Gets it in the bird. Larry, a runner. Got it! Ball game. That's tough. All right, I'm going to be honest that's with y'all. I'm going to be honest with y'all. That's, that's tough. I'm going to be real honest with y'all. Bro, he gave up defense on that possession. He did not play no D. You think so? Look, bro. You be honest, too, yo. I want to see if he got All right, look, the court. I look how he, he played. To the baseline. All right, here's Dennis. Gets it in the bird. What Deep. type of... A runner. <laughs> what type of defense was that, bro? He got up in him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, let's be he real, bro. He, he, he gave him, him no pressure, bro. Bird probably scared him. <laughs> like, come on. One more time, yo. And sure enough, he gets it in on the left side of the court. Takes it down to the baseline. All right, here's Dennis. Gets it Should in have the bird. Right Look, yeah. he didn't do nothing. Yeah. <laughs>
Knocked it down. They win by one. He walks off. He goes, I told you. You can't put him on me. Facts. He said, you better get somebody else who can guard me. <laughs> you know, Larry Bird really is my guy. Next to Michael Jordan, he's yes, my favorite sir. player of all time. And the I older like I too. get, the more appreciative I get uh, of his game. I mean, this guy was a three-time consecutive MVP, which is unheard of right. and being so damn good without having the athleticism is just mind-boggling yeah, all skills, and for man. all of you who Luke didn't watch Larry Bird when he was playing back in the days it's really really great to go on YouTube and check out some of his documentaries to see where the guys are actually coming from and his work ethic and everything so I can really recommend to you guys if you got some spare time check out some documentaries about Larry Bird so that was it for today's episode if you enjoyed the content please leave a like and even more important please subscribe to the channel because that helps me to grow the show. I loved it. <laughs> I love that. I'm a Larry Bird fan. I like Larry Bird, man. I ain't going to lie. Yo, I'm just saying, bro. Do you fight somebody from being like, is your mother watching the game? <laughs> like, is that a fight? Like, let us know in the comment section. I'm going to ask you, oh, Mookie. Is that a fight? Man. Somebody killing you. Right. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Sure, your mother watching. Is that like a who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> or is it like what is that, bro? Or is it like like do you ask me? Yeah, uh, my mother watching. Oh, I don't know, bro. That's tough. It's a. I feel like that's an automatically dead possession. Shorty, who are you talking to? Yo? Yeah, who are you talking <laughs> huh? to? My mother. <laughs> <laughs> this game. This is about me and you right now. Like, bird. He got in here the best, bro. Yes, he did. He bro. got in here the best Larry one, the Bird best trash talker. The man. Facts. No. I never no. knew the guy won three MVPs in a row. Me either. That was the first time I found that out, too. Bro, it's NBA players to today mm -hmm. that haven't done that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, salute. That's bro. tough. Oh, man. Any last comments Larry about legend, you, man? Babe. Love Larry Legend. I appreciate y'all for come, coming through and vibing with us, y'all. Appreciate it. Definitely do. We definitely appreciate y'all. We want to know if y'all want to send us a Larry Bird jersey. Because we love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, man. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. We out, yes, baby. One.